Hi guys. Today we're going to have a look at some tips for cutlass, and in this case, it's one of the most important things in the game, which is reacting and when to react, when it's best to react, or just why you should react. Kent, you're going to go through some of the, the, the details of it for us. Yeah, sure. Um, we've got a little setup to, to go through with. Yeah, okay. Well, the main thing to talk about reaction is, is firstly, I suppose, when can you react? Yeah. The obvious thing, really. Four times you can react. When someone moves within six inches of you, when someone fires at you and misses, okay. someone's taken out within six inches of you, Right. and the fourth one skates off the top of my head. Uh, what am I missing, Adam? In combat. The in combat, uh, that's right. Combat. That's what, yeah. yeah. The, the fourth Which one, the combat slightly one, is slightly different. different. So the first three are roles on reaction. So if you've got good reactions for your character, you've mm -hmm. got more chance of it working. Okay. Right? The um, combat reaction is on the combat role. Right, that's and that's the one that's on the table. That's um, already built yeah. the table, so, yeah. so whenever you're rolling your opposed, opposed roll, if you get a very high roll, you might get to be able to react. Exactly. It's, it's just, it's already, so, and that one doesn't cost you yeah. one of your so action points So people well. not used to how the rules work, the key question is, when? Is, should you or <laughs> yes, shouldn't you react? Because you've yeah. always got the choice. Yeah. Um, and the risk, of course, is if you fail, you've lost a point. Yes. If you succeed, you've lost the point, but you get the initiative and you yeah, and you get the you get to take you get to take, the, the take over from that point. And so there's yeah. no okay. there's no exact right or wrong <laughs> as to when that's where the real tactics come in. So, so I mean, in this case, then when we when we're having a look, so we've got our, our orcs here. Who, if you watched our demo game, won. Yay, go orcs! Um, and the Royal Navy again in the centre. Of course, we've got our impressive giant. But in this case, I mean, say we're we're running. Uh, at a high initiative, say both of us rolled reasonably high. Mm -hmm. One's got one's got eight, perhaps, and the other one's got six. Yeah. To me, because uh, I'm not going first, but I still have a high number um, of actions, it would I would probably want to react as quickly as possible to get my guys into action. There is that option. The problem you've got if you do that is if it fails, you're going to lose one of your action points. Yeah, you're down, you're down to five. You're down to five. And the thing is as well, if, the, if you've got six action points, that's potentially six things you could be doing. Yeah. And if you use it up early... You only get one guy to, to, to move. You only get one right, guy right. to do it. Yeah. This is where the trade-off comes in. Well, do mm. I want to react early, like you say, and try and take the initiative yeah. and interrupt what they're doing, or do I want to hold back and save my points for a little mm. bit so that I've got more to do when it's my turn? Yeah. This, is, this is the way. And, of course, the thing is as well, you might well react and it work. Of course, at that, that point, it switches over. You're the active gang. Mm. But at any point, your opponent can interrupt you. Yeah. This is the good thing about cutlass, it swings backwards and forwards. Yeah. And the thing is always, well, am I going to react now? Or what, what? And thinking about, trying to really trying to think ahead, well, if I react, what am I actually going to do with that reaction? Mm -hmm. As opposed to just, oh, I can react, I'll go and do it. Okay, so, I mean, what's your advice then? What's, what's the best time to jump in the and two, take a reaction? Well, the two main things that people are going to notice once they've played a couple of games, leaders react for yep. free. Right. Which means they're still going to make the roll, but it's not going to cost you a point. So okay. if, you're, if you're thinking about it, you've got nothing to lose. And the other one is the stand ready marker, which is a special action. Works similar to reloading as part of any other action you Okay, so uh, what you're saying is, in, in the case of our orcs, let's say, yeah. mm -hmm. um, our orc admiral then, um, if he gets shot at and missed, then he could get the react, but he doesn't, it doesn't cost you a point? Is that what you're saying? Or is it a leadership? Is that yeah, a particular you, skill? Yeah, your leader, that's just a standard rule for leaders. Okay, so if that was the case then, if I was the, the Royal Navy, um, pretty much I would leave him the last to shoot then. If I was going to shoot at all these guys, yeah. leaving, him, leaving right. him the last yeah. is, the, is probably yeah. the best That's idea. That's why as an opponent you've got to think as well. Yeah. Yeah, and the so other thing to mention about the stand ready marker is it's even better than a leader because yeah. not only do you react for free, you get plus one level. To That's right. Reaction. Stand ready is one of the special actions yeah. That, yeah. That, that can be taken, which is just generally the guys getting ready to react. Yeah. Then, um, exactly. So, and that, like you say, doesn't cost you your point then if you fail to do the... Exactly. The, the downside of that is... You've got to pick who is who is on stand really carefully. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If they do anything else, they lose that marker. So it's almost, almost kind of picking who's your uh, defensive option. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh well, uh, I'll tell you what. Well, let, let's let's have a look then. So in this case, let's say um, there are a couple of shots were fired at a couple of these orcs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick, of course, the admiral last because yeah. we know that he's got he's got leadership. So shooting him yeah. um, early on is going to be uh, potentially disastrous yeah. if he can if he can pull the, the initiative back. Yeah. So. Other than other than that, then mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's it's generally a sort of a, a bit of a balancing act then. Yeah, it um, is. and there is no specific right time to do it, there, or there, there isn't a, a a right time to do it. But like I say, it's really about thinking. Well, not only do I need to do it, but what am I going to gain by doing it? That's that's the sure, big yeah. thing you've got to think about. Like as we mentioned, we had the because um, I tried to react when we were doing the uh, game earlier. Yes, that's right. And as you quite rightly pointed out, if your opponents let's say let's say they've got action point to six and they're doing a movement phase, if you interrupt the first guy that moves 
they're going to lose all the other points they would have mm -hmm. had there, those five movements. Is there any point interrupting on the last person that moves? Yeah. Because they've already got five movements out of it. Is there any point interrupting yeah. the last one? Well, so well, it's, it's quite often better to interrupt early on. Yeah, that, that's what I, 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 know, I know what you mean. So say you, uh, all the orcs rushed forward. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, at that point, if, he, if one, the first guy lands within six inches, yep. that's a good time to start reacting because yeah, exactly. the rest of the guys are going to start are going to come along behind. But if he's already all moved five of them up and the yeah. sixth one moves in, then you think, oh, maybe I should react. Well, it's kind of yeah. a bit late to a certain extent. It's probably yeah. better off doing it. So I mean, on. what we're what we're saying really is that they're they're it's it's easier to see a time when you shouldn't react as opposed to a Just time when you should. Um, so and sometimes it might just be a case of. You want to take a risk and it'll pay off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it hey, it's, it's a game. Let's Sometimes always you take might risks. make what is actually a bad decision, but it'll pay off because you get lucky. <laughs> That's it. Don't well, there you go, guys. I know it's a general discussion, a general look at how reactions work. Of course, you'll be able, if, when you play the game, you'll be able to decide for yourself when you think the best time for reactions are. But the general advice is always try and get your reaction in at the best time, as early as possible, before everybody else has done their stuff, um, or do you want to leave it or do you want to risk it? Always risk it for a biscuit to see if, uh, if, if the orcs aren't going to take you out, but they did it before. Again, watch, watch our demo game and you'll see how, how badly the orcs got, in, got into combat and started <laughs> annihilating everything. So guys, what do you think? Drop some comments below. Give us your advice. What do you think about, uh, about reacting? When do you think you should do it? Is there a right time? Is there a, a mathematically a right time that you should be doing it? Drop some comments below and tell us about it.